Alrighty then, welcome back to a quick little uh, Pokemon opening. I, I saw this a while ago in uh, the fall of 2022, which is their collector's chest. And look how bad of a sealed job that they did. I was like, there's no way that this is legit. This has to be like a return or something. So I just kind of wanted to see what was, what was going to be up, you know? So let's go ahead and use the uh, ASMR crinkling. But we're going to see what's inside here. Hopefully we'll get something good. I, I kind of like collecting these chests because you also get the, the unique little promos. Like, look at that Growlithe. That's so cute. And also, you know, they're, they're just cool. You come with, like, stickers. I think there's some other stuff in here. Yeah, just more stickers. What is this? This is a booklet. This isn't a sticker. What the heck? And, like, a little mini binder that you can use for the set. I like using them, a little little journal, if you ever want to do any drawing or taking notes. This, this is honestly more of a kid's product, you know, an actual lunchbox. But it's definitely, definitely really nice. So we got our Astral Radiance, Silver Tempest. There's the uh, code card for anyone that plays. Let me just go ahead and get rid of these stuff. But yeah, let's take a look at these packs. You got some Astral Radiance, another Astral, Silver... Silver and a fusion. Hmm. I'll probably save the fusion for last. So let's just go straight into the uh, Astral Radiance. There's a bunch of cards that I need from each of these sets. Well, I don't need, but it would be nice. But I think we'll just just go right into it. No need to do any any fanciness. Uh, Petalil, Bergmite, Hippotopolis, Cyndaquil, my boy, my favorite, Hipponyard, Teddy Ursa. And a Mamoswine. Ooh, quite nice. Just to show off the rest of that. But yeah, I, hopefully this video isn't going to be too long. My last one was like four, not even five minutes. So I kind of want to keep that pace up. You know, just opening one or two things. Not not to, not to get too out there. You know, keep it short and, short and simple for you guys. Well, those of you that do watch. Got ourselves a Psyduck. Pet, uh, Petalil, Stantler, another Bergmite, another Hippopotopolopopolis, Sheldon, and a Regigigas. Okay, so nothing from Astral, which is kind of to be expected. I did notice that the Scarlet and Violet uh, packs, or at least the set itself, seems to be, you know, have really high hit rates. I don't know if it's because there's a low amount of cards in the set, and then... Okay. A low amount of cards in the set, so they had to increase the hit rates, or if that's going to continue. I hope it continues. Fungus, Sandy Gas, Relicant, Halucha. Oh, we got a Sword, Sword Word, and Shieldbert. That's pretty nice. Got a hit. I honestly wasn't expecting that. Maybe this tin can turn around. Let me just put that there for organization. Get a quick little sleeve up in here. Not that it really matters, because you know, it's not gonna not gonna hurt it too bad if it just sits there. And all right, let's see what else we can get from Silver Tempest. I didn't really play a bunch of Sun and Moon, so I don't have any uh, thoughts on the starters from then. I kind of stopped at, well playing the games around Diamond and Pearl. It was actually my last main game until I you know came back to Pokemon. Silver so Tempest. And we're getting right into the Fusion Stripe. I have not opened any of the Scarlet and Violet yet. And I have a couple of ETBs sitting next to me. But that's going to be something special for later. So if you want to see that, then definitely stay tuned. Oh, I shouldn't be mixing the cards. Muna. Got Plusle. Another Shelmet. Skarmory. A Reverse Cub Fant. And let's see what the last hit's going to be. Oh, a Raquinid. Dang it. Could have been something good. Phalanx, Wigglytuff, Bugcatcher. And there is Code Card. So, hopefully this was uh, slightly entertaining, and I will see you in the next opening.